Okay, the previous video was car two cars that collided in one dimension. But now what if it's in two dimensions? So this is this is an actual real problem of two cars, uh, and we're looking at it from above, and they're they're doing this. So here's here's my two cars. I'll put it right here. They're going nah. Okay. So they 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 crash like that. And so it's in one's going, let's say, south and one's going east, and they crash, and then w they end up sticking together and moving at some velocity, uh, VA2. And so often we'll think about this in terms of, let's say, this angle theta. Okay, we can find that angle theta too. So I'm going to, again, my job here, I'm not going to use any numbers. I know that doesn't make you happy, but I'm, I'm trying to show you how this problem works, and you can put in whatever numbers you want. But um, I just like to solve it generically um, at the end. It's more important to learn what's going on and you can plug those numbers in to solve your own problems later. So, but again, we have the following. P1 total equals P2 total. This says the total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. And this is what we call conservation of momentum. And it basically comes from the momentum principle because the force of A on B is equal to the opposite of B on A, and they're for the same amount of time. So they have the same, they have opposite changes in momentum, which makes the total change in momentum zero. That's what we get. But that's another video that I already did. And you can go look at it down there. I'll link to it down there. So what's different here than in the, uh, in the, one dimensional case is that I need to deal with momentum as a vector. So I actually can deal with this. I could write it as a vector equation and let me do that. So let's say the initial total momentum is going to be M A V A one vector plus M B V B one vector equals M A plus M B VA2. So VA2 and B have the same velocity afterwards. So I just need one, one value right there. This is the right problem. Okay. And you may say, but wait, VB is negative. It's going in the negative direction. No, it has a negative Y component, but the, we don't put a negative here. That's a vector. Okay. So you actually could write this out uh, as this. I could say V, I could say VA1 is equal to the vector v a 1 0 0 v b 1 equals 0 negative v b 1 0 and then v a 2 is equal to v a 2 x v i'm sorry v a 2 equals v a 2 x v a two y zero, assuming it's in zero uh, and that doesn't move up or down the c direction, and I could put those in and solve this problem, and I'd be done. And in fact, I will I will do that for you as a Python problem. Okay, I'll show you how to solve this because if I want to find the final velocity, it's just this. I could solve divide both sides by m a plus m b, and I get v a two equals. Um, M A V A one plus M B V B one, all that over M A plus M B. Yes, it's that easy, right? Because it's a vector equation. If I deal with these as vectors, that's all I have to do. And it looks just like in one dimension, but those are vectors now, not scalars. Now, you might want to say, okay, then how do I find V, how to find this angle and how to find the magnitude? Well, I could find the magnitude right there and then I could find the angle too from that vector. So let's say if I have my final velocity vector right here, VA2 vector, well, this is the X component, VA2X. This is the Y component, VA2Y. So the magnitude VA2 it's going to be equal to the square root of VA2X squared 
plus VA to Y squared. And this angle theta, I can find that. The tangent of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So tangent of theta is going to be the opposite, uh, which is VA to Y divided by VA to X. Done. Okay, but let me write this out as two uh, one-dimensional equations just to make you happy because it's all about me making you happy. And then I'll come back to this and show you why this is better. Okay, so in um, the x direction, I get uh, VA to x equals, what's the x velocity initial? It's going to be uh, MA VA1. It's just all in the x direction. What's the x velocity of that one? Well, it was not moving in the x direction, so it's zero. So it's just MA plus MB. That's it. Now, what about in the y direction? I have VA to Y is going to be equal to, I'm doing the same equation up here. Now, VA. 1y is 0, so I, that's 0, and then I have minus mb v, I have to do it, vb1 over ma plus mb. So I get the same thing, but I just break it in two, direct, two, two pieces. Now, why is this better? This is better, because suppose I have the following situation. Here's car A. Here's car B. Now it's not in either the X or the Y. Well, this doesn't care. This doesn't matter. I'm still dealing with these as vectors. I'll just have V, B, 1 as something. V, B, 1, X, V, B, sorry, 1, Y, 0. Doesn't matter. Okay, so it doesn't matter if, if I deal with these as vectors. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a, a Python program, um, and I'm going to walk you through it. And we're going to put this equation in. And then this will essentially solve every single uh, 2D inelastic collision problem that you could think of. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be the ultimate generic universal two-dimensional inelastic equation solver program that you're going to make yourself and i'll show you that on the next one so let me end this and i'll skip over there and we'll do that